I'm going to walk you through the installation of the JL oil separator for your Ford Ranger. This is going to cover the late build 21 and up vehicles. Uh, we believe the change happened in October of 21, so if you check your door sticker for the PCV line change. Including the JL kit is an oil separator, mounting bracket, mounting hardware, and two hoses. The tools you're going to need for installation is a ratchet, 10 millimeter socket, extension, a Phillips head screwdriver, a pair of hose cutters or a razor blade, and light grease or oil. Let's get started. Now the difference in the PCV connection on this 2022 versus the earlier Rangers is that the PCV line actually comes up and makes connection right here at the top of the intake manifold, which is going to make this job very easy. So you'll want to check that you have this connection up here. If you do not, and you have an earlier 21, you'll want to follow the directions for the 2019 to 2021 Ranger installation. Well, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna prep our oil separator for installation. So we're gonna install our mounting bracket onto our oil separator, align the logos, and use the supplied screws. At the truck, we're going to need to release that factory PCV line. Find it easiest to come in from this direction. There is a white button that's on the bottom of the fitting. You have to press that in to release. So this is a large button. You're going to press that in and then pull up on the fitting. Again, like that. Now, we're going to rotate this fitting. It'll spin in this hose. I'm going to rotate it like so. The aftermarket fitting here releases a little different than the factory fitting. You have a locking tab along with a push to release button to show you how this works. This is the same uh, connection that's on the intake manifold. So you would press this all the way in and once that clicks into place, you press this front tab to lock the connection. So to release it, you actually have to pull up on this button. So that locking tab pull up and then press down on the portion that looks like a thumbnail and that will release your fitting so again to install push in that locks it in to release pull up and then press the button now we're going to route our hoses now i'm going to route the hose with the male fitting first this is going to go between the battery and this rubber line. And then on the outside of this hose that has the wire loom on it. I'm just gonna route around. And then our line with our 90 degree fitting. Now this fitting can rotate and spin too. So as you can see how it's installed, you know, with the natural curve of the hose, you can use that to your advantage. Um, but you can adjust this fitting as needed. Now this one I'm gonna actually route, there's this line that's coming down and this line with the wire loom, I'm gonna push it in between those two lines. I'll try to get a good photo of this and insert it into the video here. I'm gonna route that. And then I'm just going to plug that right onto my connection and lock my tab. And then I'm going to make my male connection now too. Like so. Grab your oil separator assembly and the mounting bolt. It's going to mount right here to this insert. If you have a factory engine cover, um, you're going to reuse the factory bolt to do this, but that will be covered and the other directions that we have for this. So the, the late model trucks don't come with an engine cover, um, but many owners add them. Now I'm not gonna tighten that bolt all the way up yet. 
because uh, we're going to connect our hoses and then that's going to allow us some adjustment if we need to tweak where our hoses are laying out. Now we're going to work on making our hose connections. So the hose that is connecting to the factory line that you pulled off, that's going down to the PCV valve, that's our dirty side. I'm going to route that line underneath this hard line here and that's going to make connection to our C side of the oil separator. So the OSC logo on the top, C side is our dirty side, that's the side with the filter. So these hoses are very forgiving in fitment um, because you have a lot of space here, but I do recommend trimming them. So all I'm going to do here is um, kind of line that where I'm going to want. And then I'm going to just make a small little mark actually just with my fingernail on the hose and where I want to cut that. And then I'm going to cut that hose. These hose cutters are very handy, but you can do this just with a razor blade too. So then we're going to grab our grease. Uh, motor oil could work for this too. Um, dish soap can do that. You can put it on a Q-tip. You just want to make sure that you use something for lubrication to ensure that you push these hoses all the way up the fittings. So lube that up. Grab your uh, hose dress up end here and slide that over the end of your hose. And then we're just going to push that onto the fitting like that. Now our other line that is making connection to our intake manifold is going to connect to our other fitting. This one we want to route on top of this line here. And we're going to do the same thing. We can trim this line up. We can actually leave it long. Uh, it's not going to hurt anything. It's completely optional to trim this but I'm going to actually just leave it be. And um, we'll just need to lube this up too. Install our dress up cap and push that onto the fitting. Now it is important that you wrap this hose over this line. What this is gonna do is ensure that this line stays out of the fan you know as things relax over time it's going to give something to support it versus running it underneath like this other line and having the chance that it falls into the fan so um, now that we have everything where we want it we're going to go and tighten up our bolt and then last but not least in the back here I suggest tucking this hose around this bracket that's back here. It'll actually kind of wedge in and that'll keep that nice and secure. So again, that's that factory line and just pushed it underneath this EVAP solenoid in between this metal bracket that's got the bolt sticking out. That completes your installation. Now these 2.3 liters in previous models, such as the Mustang, the Explorer, and even the earlier Rangers, would typically put about an ounce of oil in the oil separator every thousand miles. Uh, the oil separator holds three. So uh, what we suggest you do is after installation in 500 to 1,000 miles to check it, and that'll give you a good idea of how much yours is putting in. Uh, driving style, um, atmospheric conditions, uh, the time of year it is uh, all can affect the, the collection rate. So just keep an eye on yours. And um, if you have any questions, please reach out uh, via phone or email. We appreciate you watching. We'll see you on the next one.